Hey guys, what's going on? It's Iggy. Today we're going to be talking about the GTS, what's currently popular trading, and what Pokemon you can expect to get popular. Before we get into that guys, I hope you've all been keeping well and enjoying the functionality of Pokemon Home with the GTS and even though it's not perfect, hopefully you've been able to get some good trades from it. Guys, at the end of this video, I will announce the winner of the shiny Gigantamax Toxtricity, so please, stay tuned for that. Also guys, I've made a Discord, link will be in the description below, please join and let's talk Pokemon. As you guys would have seen already, the most requested Pokemon are Zacian and Zamazenta alongside uh, the Ultra Beast Poipole. The thing is, with these, um, especially Zacian and Zamazenta, we know they're always going to be popular, they are the game mascots and exclusive legendaries, so everyone's always asking for them. I'm not going to say much about uh, Poipole because, to be honest, to be honest with you, I skipped on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so I'm not going to pretend I know much about them. Even saying this, uh, this leads on to the problem with GTS, with people always asking for Zacian and Zamazenta, or even these ones, and putting up a common Pokemon, or even a Pokemon that people are looking for that you know they can trade something reasonable, maybe a Pokemon, a good Pokemon with hidden ability, but they want. Zacian, or even worse, they put it up for Zacian level 1 to 10. So basically, you can't trade this with me. I'm putting it up here to show off. It's like, why? What's the point of that? That is one of the main issues of the GTS. Now, this is the part that I really want to get into the most frequently traded Pokemon. And at number 1, we have Litten. Litten is a hot product right now, not just because it's a fire type, but because Incineroar is an amazing Pokemon competitively thanks to its hidden ability. So Litten with hidden ability is all the rage right now. By the way guys, thanks to those who checked out my little test stream where I was trying to hatch a shiny Litten with hidden ability. I do still have hidden ability Littens up for trade, so I'm giving them away. If you guys are interested in a free hidden ability Litten, please let me know in the Discord and we'll get some trades happening. We can also see Ditto and Pikachu and also Mewtwo here as well. But what I really want to touch on as well is on the Cantonian and Alolan starter Pokemon. This leads me to why we are seeing an increase in these Pokemon. The main reason for this increase in these Pokemon is that we can use these Pokemon right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And also because their final evolutions are now VGC legal. So that factor that we can actually use the Pokemon in Sword and Shield, the current Pokemon core game, is the main reason that uh, these Pokemon are going to increase in trades and we can use that to kind of indicate what Pokemon we expect to be popular down the line, especially with the DLC uh, upcoming in June being the Isle of Armor. So which Pokemon do I think we will see an increase in trading popularity as we approach this first wave of DLC? So from what we know in regards to the Pokemon that will be brought back, we can safely assume that uh, popularity will increase for Pokemon such as uh, those in the Kingdra evolutionary line, Azumarill evolutionary line, Magnezone evolutionary line, and a uh, Zoroark, if I pronounced that right, Zoroark, yeah. So Pokemon such as these, I believe we will see an increase in trading, especially as we lead up to it, because people may want to have a head start in filling their newly expanded Pokedexes, and because, well, people are just people, I think there will be an increase in Kubfu, and also its evolution Urshifu, but there'll just be an increase in demand, but probably not so much trading as everyone will be keeping theirs. Well, that is to say if we can even trade them because they may be an integral part of the story, maybe for a bit and then when you're done with them, you could trade. I don't know guys. Maybe there's some information about that somewhere and I just haven't looked into it. But if you guys know something about that, please let me know. Now guys, it's time for the shiny giveaway winner. So the prize was the shiny Gigantamax Toxtricity. Thank you to those that entered. The winner is Jonathan Smith. Congratulations. I will add your friend code shortly, but in the meantime, can you please uh, join my Discord and let's get in touch so we can find a time when you're free and I can get that Pokemon traded to you. For the rest of you guys, best of luck for next time. Please join the Discord so 
I can get in touch with you guys and uh, you guys can be updated for whenever I have new videos or new shiny giveaways. I might run some shiny giveaways exclusively for those in the Discord. That brings us to the end of this uh, little video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was uh, informative. I'll see you all in the next video. As always, stay awesome, not toxic. Bye.